Gats in a central market, which was once a bustling hub for business activity, has now become a shadow of itself as stalls that were hitherto packed with goods now stand bare, mirroring the empty pockets of the customers. Jamil Mabai reports that the harsh economic challenges occasioned by the rise in the exchange rate of the Naira against the dollar, as well as the closure of the nigeria Niger border, have combined to plague the people of Katsuna. The report. The vibrant central market in Katsuna, Nigeria, usually a hive of activity, now hangs heavy with an unsettling quiet. Ahmad's stall, once overflowing with colorful produce, stands bare, mirroring the emptiness in the stomachs of his customers. To Customers that spend 70,000 Naira before, they cannot spend 20,000 Naira now because things are expensive and his salary hasn't changed. A confluence of factors have conspired against ordinary Nigerians. The dollar skyrocketing price and the closed Niger-Nigeria border have chalked off imported food, sending prices souring. The price of dollar has increased and most of the rice are imported from Niger Republic into Kasina State. Crisis in Niger worsened rice scarcity. Only the big dealers here have it. Once they hear increase in the price of dollar, they just increase the price of rice. Even local food items like maize and gari, once a haven for stretched wallets, are now luxuries many can't touch. Before, the bag of maize cost 20 to 24,000. Now it costs 40,000 Naira. A measure of gari is now 1,200 Naira. Analysts say insecurity in the northwest has cast a dark shadow, with farmers abandoning their fields and local markets turning into ghost towns. Many farmers did not cultivate a single crops due to the insecurity in the states. So they cannot palm, they cannot rear animals, they cannot even go to the market. Many point fingers at the government's banned aid solutions, criticizing them as wasteful and ineffective. Because when you say palliative, how could you give a, a household one bag or one cup of rice and one supergetti to say you give him a palliative for six months or for air. This is not even palliative for a one hour palliative. It is about programs, reliable, dependable program that will directly touch life of the common man. President Tinubu's recent announcement of slashing his office expenses has sparked a flicker of hope. Citizens now urge state governors to follow suit. Chamil Mubay. Trust TV, Kazina.